Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. If today is your first day, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification button whenever I upload a new video so you can be notified, guys. In today, I'm going to be showing you how I cook cray and how I'll do my square shape cake, okay, guys? This is the butter cream. If you need the full recipe of this butter cream, I will be leaving the description down below so you can watch how I do my butter cream, guys. As you can see, I've put the first layer of the cake. So I've I didn't know I did cash up the video when I was trimming it. I'm so sorry about that, guys. I will be doing a video where I trim my cake for this square shape. Now I'm putting the buttercream on the top of the cake. I'm just cocraining it all around. Okay, guys. So as you can see right here, I'm just, whichever way you're comfortable, you can do it. I've done the first cocraine. I'm just cleaning it, put it in the fridge, then bring it out. Okay, guys. You need to put that in the fridge for a couple of minutes. I bring it out, do your second cocraine as I'm doing it right here, guys, as you can see. Even if you're going to do a fondant cake, you need to cocray it to get it perfect like this before you apply your fondant. Okay, guys. Now, this is the final look of my cocray, guys. Now, I'm going to be doing a peach color. I just add a drip of the peach color. I will leave the peach color link be, be down, down below. As you can see, guys, this is the way I'm going to be using the silicone to do the peach color on the body, the mold. Okay, guys. Now you can spray your color, you can paint it the way I'm doing it like this. You know, sometimes you want to have that gold color on the back, ground of the cake, for, you know. So that's the way I apply my, I don't want to spray because I'm not spraying every other cake so it doesn't get messy. So what I'm doing, I just put a toothpick to only there, then I'm pouring the peach color. Okay, guys, you know, this is how I'm doing it now. You just do that, just scrape it out. Can you see that, guys? Now, before you put, like, you need to look for the perfect place where you're going to use for your front cake, okay? The front, that's where the view go on the cake, okay, guys? Don't get me wrong. Every part needs to be perfect, but you need to have your front of your cake that attention everyone will go there. Like, this is where we're going to be using for the front. I'm using the smaller part, Pinazo, to just make, like, a, a frame on the picture, guys, as you can see. I hope you get that. So, I'm just making it brown, like, ting ton ting ton ting ton okay? Now I bring out my phone that I'm going to roll it out. You know, when you keeping your father, I recommend you tie it so that it doesn't get air, it doesn't get hard. So for the purpose of doing this, so I'm trying my phone that into three parts. Sorry guys, I didn't really use glove. I'm really sorry about it. I run out of gloves. So I have one glove left. I'm using uppercase to write the B. So I will be leaving the decision down of this instrument I'm using for this cake. I write all the names. I put them in there on the nylon bag. I don't want it to get air. You know when you write out before you bring it out, it get air, then it be hard. So I just put it there for I know it's safe. It doesn't get air. Now I'm going to miss my glitter. Okay, what I'm doing, I'm putting a half teaspoon of that into there, like the other glitter ball. So I'm using an edible spirit. Guys, don't get me wrong. You can use edible spirit. You can use alcohol. You can use extra virgin oil. Trust me, it works perfectly. So now I'm just stirring it with a toothpick, okay? I'm just stirring it with that because I don't want you to use my brush. At the end of my brush, is so like you become, you will just roll my brush out, okay, guys? At this stage, I'm pouring on the paper. You can see it's dripping. I'm not doing a dripping. I'm going to be using it on that frame we make clearer on. So for the purpose of that, I'm going to be adding more to the glinter to make it a bit thick. Because when it's dripping, it might rule your cake, guys. When you do this, be careful. As you can see, I'm pouring in there. It's a bit thick enough, so I'm okay with this. Okay, guys? <laughs> there we go. Now we're going to get our cake from the fridge. Okay, guys? So we just put that aside. You can see now. I'm using my brush to turn it. Like, I don't want to use to miss it in the initial place. This bus is almost damaged. This brush I'm using here. Okay? So this is how you go, guys. You can see it. Now we're gonna get our rolling table. Okay. Yeah. Gonna go and get the cake now. Guys, please turn on your notification button. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video to your loved ones. I do a lot. I do different type of cuisine and my base pastry and I swear, guys. So we're gonna start painting it like you are tapping it inside the gold glint. Okay, guys. Can you see we are just doing that? Okay. I hope you get what I'm trying to explain here. So we're just trying to paint this white to become good, you know. And you're just typing it inside, you're just dabbing it, okay? Don't mind if anyone is falling off. This is not ganache. If it's ganache, trust me, guys, it's okay. But this is butter cream. It's also okay. The customer, the demand, said he need a butter cream. And I need to do everything with butter cream, okay? So we are using butter cream, yeah, not ganache. 
So as you can see, we have done it, the first square. You need to start tapping the corner, the edges, where you didn't get, like, you know, the, you see what I'm showing you. You need to start tapping it, the color with the brush, like the glinter with the brush, okay? Because you want to cover everything. Like, you don't want it to show, like, there's a white thing there. You need to cover it all with a gold glinter, okay? So as you can see, I'm turning it around. I'm just trying to do it all around. You can see, you know. You see, I'm trying to cover everything as much as we can cover. Now we're going to do the top as well, the top of the cake, you know. That's why we left it like this because this was the order. Now we're trying to do it as well. You just try to go around with the gold, okay. Just do the top all around. Just the way I'm doing it here. Gently, be careful when you're doing this, okay. So now as you can see, you do the four top around nearly there okay you start doing inside from inside you look all around because you don't want the white to show everything is needs to be good okay so like the top the edges okay you just need to do this and paint it to be good guys trust me this is how you need to do it so you put that aside now i want to roll out my phone that's the way we're going to put the name okay if you want this rolling pin i will leave it down below okay maybe you're strong you don't know how to go this little pin rolling pin i will leave everything in the description down below so this is the nail we write later on. I just want to make sure I want to put them into the white one to see the outcome. I don't just start pouring it on the cake board like that. Okay, guy. So what I'm doing right here, I'm just trying to put it in orderly to see, to eyeball it if it's okay. So just try. I use an uppercase and lowercase, okay, for this name. I just bring that out. I don't want it to get air. I just use a nylon bag to cover it again. Now, you just need a tank or a tip. A bit of water like you can use edible print like edible jet to do this but me i'm using water water work for me perfectly like it's okay now i'm going to trim it with the scissors okay it's easier for me to do like this when i put it on the board now i'm just going to do the bottle smart it you know to just level it okay can you see what i'm doing like you know i just try to smart it to level it with the board that's what i did right there now we're gonna be seeing you see some part that is being not be covered properly need to cover it well proper you see you keep your eye on it now as you can see we start carrying on we just i just put water i'm using water guys i didn't use edible gel now put water there I start pouring in it i want to one thing i'm conscious about when i'm doing my nail guys like i want to be conscious of it like you know I would just be pouring it with a pin and want to be cautious, like all to be equal, like no name going somewhere else. You see the way I'm using my brush to like control the down. You can see well, after I pour it, I will use to eyeball it. I will just control it. You see, this is what I'm doing. Like I'll just put then keep turning it around, look from afar when you are pouring it in there. You see, I just take the brush down on of it just to make it level. I like when I'm putting my names on the cake but it needs to be straight like not going somewhere you know where I mean guys so right now as you can see there we go you see you see you need to use that to control that guide you I use the brush now I'm gonna cut it out okay I just want to get something like you know not just leave it plain I'm just cutting out like that okay to just make it more beautiful you know you can see there we go guys now i'm trying whenever you i please please i really beg of you all please like whenever you are decorating a cake you know this flowers is going inside always use a firm paper to wrap it as you can see my flowers i've already wrapped it with a firm paper because different ants have touched it because of bacteria and stuff like that so i wrap it i'm now start going to put everything in to start to look at the decoration whenever you are putting it decoration stuff that you know is not clean you don't know like the under must have touched it even those flowers you know just try your possible best to like wrap it to the fan paper before you start doing it see how we are decorating this beautiful peach cake okay can you see that can you see how amazing it is you just eyeball it before you start putting things you see the way i did i'll just is it this way or this way you know before i'm sure i'll just start putting everything in can you see Oh, please turn on your notification button subscribe to my youtube channel and share it to your loved ones guys i recommend when you are doing this again like you put it sprinkle on your cake always look at the expiry date before you use it guys it's really important whenever you are using edible sprinkle wherever always look at it, the expiring dates 
I just put in gold and black to go with the picture. You can see the color, the way I combine it, okay? Now I'm going to put the ribbon. I'm just the adding water there. I'm putting the ribbon on the cake body and the ball to make, make it classic. Like, I like making, even if the cake, the order is not like 8 inches demand. This is the order what the client need, but I need to stand on my standard on my work. Like, this is how I do my work. Like, I need to put the ribbon to make it, to like, make everything like my standard of my work. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoy this recipe that I'm reviewing, how I do my peach cake, how I make the color and everything. Please turn on your notification button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share it to your loved ones. See, you, you might say something you are interested in. Oh, I make my cuisine and baking. As you can see, guys, after a while, that is a B. Let's go back. <laughs> As you can see, guys, so you need to use your brush to brush it out for the gold to be glinter. Now it's dried. You use your gold brush like you just brush it out. Okay, I'm just brushing it out. This is the outcome of our gorgeous fish cake. Can you see that? I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoy everything I'm reviewing here. Please thumbs up for your guests, subscribe and leave your comment down below.